Over the last couple of years, Bluey has taken the world by storm. Everywhere you look, you see her face. On cups, backpacks, you even have cursed costumes. Who even designed this? It looks like the demon who haunts me at night. Just kidding, the only demon that haunts me at night are my toys. <sighs> the first time Bluey fully caught my attention was when I was working in retail. I was in the kids section and this grandma comes in and picks up a book and yells, Bob, come look at this Bluey book. I was fully expecting a little kid to walk in and yell, Bluey! Instead, an old man walks to her and starts geeking out with his wife about Bluey. Not gonna lie, I was taken back. The thought of an old couple geeking out about Bluey never crossed my mind till this point. But who am I to judge? This is the same guy who's seen almost the entirety of My Little Pony. But that's a story for another time. Subscribe to be more disappointed than my parents. This other time, I was working the cash register and this little girl came up with her parents and plopped down a Bluey set and just casually asked me, Hey, who's your favorite character in Bluey? I responded, Oh, I've never seen Bluey and thinking nothing of it. When all of a sudden, I hear, <gasps> You've never seen Bluey? Then she looked at her parents and started to bawl her eyes out. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, she didn't cry. But for the next three minutes, she went on to explain why Bingo is her favorite character, which was cool. I didn't mind listening because I probably did the same thing when I was younger, but plays Bingo with Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. When the transaction was over, my manager who was beside me said, you should really watch Bluey. So that's exactly what I did not do because I'm a rebel, a rebel who can easily get influenced by others. So I started to watch Bluey and set out to find if A, is Bluey as good as everyone says it is? And B, if it's good, why? So I started to watch the first episode of Bluey, preparing to be blown away and eh, it was alright. But everyone knows you can't just watch one episode of a TV show. So one episode turned into two, and two turned into ten, and over the span of three months, I finished all 154 episodes of Bluey, including the minisodes. So is Bluey good? No. It was amazing. I went from being a skeptic to Bluey's biggest fan. But I'm Bluey's biggest fan. Shut up. <laughs> When I first started watching it, I couldn't understand why everyone enjoyed it so much. Though entertaining, it wasn't as everyone hyped it up to be. But as I kept watching, it started to grow on me, till eventually, I would just want to watch Bluey randomly throughout the day. Especially if I had a long day, cause y'all know this show is like a warm hug. The very first couple episodes of the series are not bad. It's still obvious they were trying to find their groove, but once they found it, they ran with it and did not stop. I'm assuming that everyone watching this video has seen Bluey, but for those who haven't, it's a show about the Healer family as they navigate growing up, parenting, and life. It sounds like something you've seen a thousand times before, and you've probably have, but not like this. Which leads me to the second point. Why is it good? It's cause of the writing baby! If you've seen any kindergarten cartoons, then you know how infuriating and boring they can be. You see the fox, yell swiper! Dora, it's right there, look behind you! Dora, please! Dora, just turn around, just turn around, please, just turn, turn around, please, don't. Bluey treats its young audience with respect by assuming they have a brain and a heart, and not some brain-rotted zombie corpse like Coco Melon does. And it's because they treat their audience like a human being that they're able to connect with anyone no matter how old you are. Now, I can't speak to why kids enjoy it so much since I'm not a kid, but I can tell you why me, an adult who's already got one foot in the grave, is a Bluey enjoyer. <laughs> And I'll do it with a single reason. It's because it can remind you how beautiful the world can be. Though this show is about a family of dogs, the way they interact with each other in the world is just honestly so beautiful. If you spent any time on this earth, then you know how rough it can be. Everyone has their own problems, and I'm pretty sure they're all unique. And somewhere in that roughness, you need something, but you just don't know what it is. Then Bluey hits you with a scene like this. You're doing great. Whoa, 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 whoa? What'd you just say? You're doing great. Thanks. Everything about this is perfect. The context for this scene is that Chili is feeling down about herself because Bluey is taking longer to walk compared to the other babies in her group, and now she's left wondering if she's doing everything wrong. And though seeing this clip on its own works, watching it within the context of insecurity makes it hit home for me every single time. This clip only lasts 3 seconds and has stuck with me till this day because it's something that I'd even know I needed to hear. Though you've physically grown and may no longer be a kid, there are things that we need in our lives no matter how old you are, such as kindness, encouragement, and acceptance. And that's why Bluey is universal, because it speaks to the needs we had as kids and do now wherever you are in life. And since this show is so gentle in its approach to every topic, eventually you become accustomed to the peace that it brings with each episode. Now I'm not saying that every episode is this profound life changing event, but what I am saying is that it's a damn good show that makes you feel safe and gives you the feelings that hey, maybe things will turn out alright. So if no one told you today, wherever you are in life, you're doing great, just keep going, and eventually, you'll make a better tomorrow. Unless you're not subscribed, then you're a dork, loser, ha ha, stinky. That last part was obviously a joke. I love y'all. But that's what we do on this channel. We have fun. I have more things I wanted to talk about in this video, but I wanted to keep this video as precise as possible since it's my first time ever quote unquote animating. So I might make a Bluey part 2. Like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Until next time, everyone. Peace.